Developing right now at noon, the search for a missing teenage girl coming to a tragic end after her body was found over the weekend. The 16-year-old went for a run Saturday and never returned home. And police do suspect foul play in her death. Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia is live in Miami with the latest on this investigation. Annalise, any good clues in this one? Christy Janice, there's no more scene here. It is clear. Miami police were here for hours investigating. The family was just here actually looking in the area that police were investigating for hours. Now, we spoke to a relative who tells us that it was actually her uncle, the girl's uncle, who found her body. 16-year-old Diani Gomez Sanchez, 5'1", with blue hair. She went for a run around 6 a.m. Saturday and never came home. Every day in the morning, the... Um he went to do exercise in the morning. He's, he's going to the same way, same time. Irvin Gomez, family of the victim, tells us Diani's mother went to work Saturday morning and got home around 8.30 at night. Her daughter wasn't home yet, so she reported her missing. Supposed to be her daughter is come back at that time, but they don't come back. So I took calling on the phone, and the phone is no answer. And Nobody answered nothing. Gomez tells me he and his family were out looking for Diani Sunday and posting flyers in the areas she frequently worked out in, including the 79th Street Causeway near Pelican Harbor Marina. That's when he says the girl's uncle found her body. You see a, a, a shoes and her phone is uh, on the side, on the street. And then when he saw, when they take a look inside the, the bushes, so... Uh, he saw the, the my my niece there is died. These are three guys hiding inside the bushes too, uh, close to my my niece's uh, uh, body. Sky 10 capturing the large scene that was extended Monday morning. Crime scene investigators searching the bushes, walking along the street, looking for any clue that will lead them to answers of what happened to 16-year-old Diani. And the family tells me that they just want justice for Diani, that she was so young and had a full life to live ahead of her. Now, police are asking for your help. If you know anything at all, contact Miami Police or Miami Dade Crime Stoppers. Now, for more on this, you can go to my social media accounts. Just search at Annalise WPLG. I'm live in Miami. Annalise Garcia, local. Shalom. Shalom. Kohalayim la. Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawashai, Bahashim, Ha, Rechachardash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya'ais from Yahawada, coming at y'all again with another beautiful lesson, a quick hit through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, as you see, man, in the prior clip, man, it's more judgment upon you Israelite woman, man. And I bring these judgment videos upon our nation to let you know, man, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is not playing with you Israelites, man. It's not sweet out here in Babylon for you females no more, man. Like I said, man, that hedge, that, that covering cast, that, that shield, all that comfort that y'all had, man, that, that's, that, 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 is a, that is done, man. It is done, man. Just like, just like, just like they say in Mortal Kombat, it has begun, man. And it's only going to get worse, man. Okay? Because it has begun, man. And it's going to keep on progressing worse and worse. Worse and worse. All right? Cause the love of the love, the love of many has uh, waxed cold, man. Roughly paraphrasing uh, Matthew twenty-four verse twelve, man. And as you saw in the clip, man, these these are clearly uh, Israelites, man. You know. And why in the hell is a sixteen-year-old? Cause in this in this in this uh, queendom, our kids shit. Even when our kids were 18, 19, 20, 21, they still act like kids. So why why is a sixteen-year-old a young woman? You know. Because a woman, a woman becomes a woman at, 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 when she receives her flower, and a, and a man becomes a man at the age of twelve. Point blank, period. That's how it is in the scriptures, man. If you got a problem with it, you got a problem with y'all about shim y'all shy. But why is she uh, taking a run six o'clock in the morning by herself? If that's the case, I mean, y'all couldn't get her a gym membership or something. This this is madness, man. And then you had. 
three dudes that basically, man, they basically raped this this uh, this young woman, man. They basically raped this uh, Israelite, man. And they didn't have the nerve to, to, to stay down there with the body and hide in the woods, man, like idiots, man. But let's get a couple of scriptures, man. This ain't going to be too long. Let's go to Genesis chapter 9, verse 6, and it reads this. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For, for in the imagine of the Most High made he man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image, Shalakia, for in the image of the Most High made he man. So it's supposed to be an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, man. You, 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 you shed this blood, I'm supposed to shed your blood, man. So these these three dudes, man, because I'm pretty sure they raped this, they raped this uh this young uh, Israelite man, this young Israelite woman, man. They supposed to be put to death automatically, man. Ain't supposed to be no trial. Ain't supposed to be they supposed to be going to a uh, court. They you examine the matter, and after you examine the matter, they get put to death by by uh by the, by the, one of the family members, man. Point blank, period, man. Point blank, period, man. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Like I said, this is gonna be just a, a, a real quick hit. I ain't gonna dig too deep into this, man. Because at the end of the day, we know this is judgment, man. We know this is judgment from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Deuteronomy 19, verse 13. Thine eye shall not pity him. You should not pity the people that did this, man, which is obviously three dudes, man. And you, and you like, what the hell? Like, what the hell are you thinking, man? Real talk. You, 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 you down there with the body still. You, you didn't basically rape the broad and then took a life and chilling right beside the body like it's okay. It didn't even have the common sense to flee the scene, man. Thine eyes shall not pity him, but thou shalt put away the guilt of innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with thee. So like I said, these three uh, men are supposed to be put to death, man. Okay? Period, man. And we, like I said, we know that uh, every judgment, when everybody gets judged and puts to death, they're not um, uh, 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 innocent, man. You know, it's obviously judgment from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Period, man. But these dudes are supposed to be put to death for their act, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 13. Let's read verse 16. Isaiah 13, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So ravish just means raped. Okay. And like I said, it, it has begun. Okay, it's only going to get worse, man. It's going to wax worse and worse, man. This this little stuff happening here and there, and uh, uh, in, in this city, and in this in this uh, uh, state, and then here and there, and man, sooner sooner or later, it's going to be in every city, every state, man, everywhere, man. Okay, it's going to be turned up, man. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is basically giving you. Uh, a, a, a little, a, a, he, he seasoned it a little bit to show you how he's going to basically bring forth all this judgment upon his, his own people and across the uh, the four corners of the earth, man. Across everybody, man. Okay, so you're getting a taste of what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is doing, man. It's only going to get worse, man. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, man. Okay, it's going to be a lot of women out here that want to, you know, you get you got these, uh, uh, these only fans, these other social media platforms where you want to show your ass, twerk, uh, don't even have no clothes on, doing all types of wicked shit. And that day, you, hey, look, man, all those men that was lusting for you is going to be seeking you, man. And furthermore, your how about Shim Yahweh is more than likely probably going to hand you to those men. Okay? And, 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 and furthermore, you Jake's, man. And not, not just Jake alone, but all men, it's going to be men out here getting raped too by men. Okay, real talk. They got a saying, and those uh, I want to say the UN troops, if I'm not mistaken, where they say man for pleasure and woman for baby. So yeah, it's, it's going to be men out here getting raped too, man, by men. <laughs> real talk. All right, let's close it out right here because, like I said, this wasn't uh, intended to be too long. All right, this is uh, Am Amos, Amos chapter three, verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai have not done it? Because Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is, is, is in control of everything. So, yeah, it's sad to see how people go in these ways that they go. But at the end of the day, it's judgment from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. 
And there's no telling what this uh, young woman was into, what she was doing in her life or in her past lives, man. Because all of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah's judgments are righteous, man. Okay, point blank, period, man. So just keep on, you know, praying, keep on doing everything to the best of your ability that Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah gives you, man. So you can be preserved and have a hedge and have a shield by Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah from all these evils to come on the earth, man. So I don't want to write to Zah. I hope and I pray this was edifying. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.